Hi children, welcome back to my channel Shari Science World. In last class we discussed about the digestion in stomach. Now we are going to discuss about the digestion in small intestine. Small intestine, it is the longest and narrow tubular part of the alimentary canal. It measures about 6 meters in length. The three divisions of small intestine, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. First part duodenum, middle part jejunum, and last part ileum. The absorption of digested food takes place through small intestinal villi. The finger like projections present in the small intestine wall of the small intestine helps to absorb the food. These structures are called villus. The complete digestion of carbohydrate, proteins and fats takes place in small intestine. It receives the secretions of liver and pancreas. Liver Liver is the largest gland in our body. It is reddish color gland located in the abdomen. Liver secrete bile juice. It is stored in gallbladder. It helps in fat digestion. Bile helps to the emulsification of fat. Then pancreas. Pancreas is the large cream colored gland located just below the stomach. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. It helps in carbohydrates, proteins and fat digestion. And food goes to large intestine. Large intestine is the wider and shorter than small intestine. The three divisions of large intestine cecum, colon and rectum. This large intestine absorbs water and minerals from the food and sends the indigestible matter to the rectum. The fecal matter is removed through the anus. These are the processes that take place in small intestine and large intestine. Here the digestion is completed. I hope you all understand about the process of digestion. Okay, thank you.